Hello, it's me, Shiatsu Shane, and today we're going to be looking at a few techniques to deal with a stiff spine. Now, I often find that a lot of clients, they come in and they might have back pain, and quite often the muscles are just sticking to the spine. And if the muscles are stuck around the spine, then it simply can't move, it can't bend, it can't twist, it can't rotate, and then that therefore causes a lack of movement, which can lead to to pain. So we're going to just cover three simple techniques that are going to open the spine up, allow the spine to breathe and therefore increase mobility and decrease pain. Now the first technique we're going to look at is just some cross stretching. Now you place your hands almost like you're going to pop the spine as you may see chiropractors or osteopaths doing if you're doing an adjustment, but we're not aiming to do that. We're aiming just to stretch the muscles either side of the spine apart to allow the spine to breathe. So, your left hand closest to you, your right hand further away, so that you're crossing your, you're crossing your hands like so. And then all you're doing is you simply leaning your body weight in and as you lean your body weight your hands go in the opposite direction now the purpose of this stretch isn't to crack the spine however uh, just like my little space engineer friend here sometimes the spine does crack so again you move down spine you drop your body weight in and you just allow your hands to separate due to your own body weight. And time wise, how long you want to stay in this stretch really depends on the muscle. You want to wait until you feel it give a little bit under your hands, until it just opens up. Now sometimes you could be doing this stretch for a few seconds, sometimes it could be a minute or so. Just take your time with it, there's really no rush. Generally, I like to go down usually three times. And you want to, from the, here to here, you want to do it straight on from the side of the body, like so. But as we slope down here towards the neck, it's better to attack this from the top of the head. It get, gives you far better movement on it. So again, we're just placing these hands in position. And then as you sink in, because your hands are crossed, it will naturally cause a separation and it will begin stretching the skin, the fascia and the muscles away from the spine. Which in turn allows the spine to breathe. Now you might find that you want to do this from one side and then come round and do it from the other just because It'll give you a slightly different angle, and that's what I'd do if I were working. Now we can use cross stretching to also cross stretch across the body and even from the sacrum up the spine. So to do it, hand on the hips, cross his arms over by the shoulder. And you just stretch in away. And you can keep one hand in position as you come down the body, creating a slightly different stretch. And again, coming the other way. And again, you probably find that this is better to do one side and then go around to the opposite side of the body. 
move P. And then with the sacrum, one hand on. Now the key is you're not to actually put any pressure on the spine, but just allow a little gap so you can slide up. And as you sink in, look, see how much of the body is actually moving. Almost decompresses the lower part of the spine. And again, you just nice little cross stretch, allowing the lumbar and sacrum to breathe a little bit. The second technique we're going to look at is just spine rocking. Dead easy, I do this with lots of clients. You're going to use your fingertips and you're going to just rock back and forwards. So, find the spine and you want to be on the near side of the spine and then you're just rocking it. Try not to use force when doing it. Again, the movement should come from your own body, just slightly rocking a little bit. Your hands are only an extension of you. If you use too much force in your hands and your shoulders, eventually they'll become damaged and they'll be no good. For massage. So we're going to go up and down the spine, just rocking like so. It's a good way of finding any specific spots that are particularly tight and assessing how much flexibility you've got actually in the spine. So it acts almost like a an assessment and treatment at the same time. And once you've gone up and down the spine a couple of times on one side, we then come round and we repeat it from that side because you want to be at the side of the spine that you can physically push at. You could do it from that way and you're pulling against the spine, but I find pushing it is a lot more effective and it's not as energy draining on yourself. So you go one side and then you come round and do the other. And again, personally I like to go up and down the spine two to three times just to really get it moving and begin loosening it up before we start doing any hands on massage work with any oil. Okay then, so our third technique is going to be the dragon's claw. Now you make the dragon's claw with your thumb and your first finger. You bend your first finger like so, so it kind of resembles a little dragon's claw. Now you need a little bit of oil on your client so that your hands can move smoothly up and down and then we're going to place his dragon's claw it's going on the thumb and the first finger like that so you can see like it's creating a pincer shape okay so pincer and then once you've you've one side of the thumb goes on one side of the spine and the first finger goes on the other and then you simply slide down either side of the spine nice and slowly. And you see as we're going down, we can then feel where it's tight. So we know it's tight here on this. And again, once you've gone down one side with one hand, you can then slide from the base of the spine all the way up the spine, moving slowly. To the neck, and you can extend it right into the back of the skull. And again, we're coming down with a dragon's claw. Don't put any force into it, just allow you your body weight to sink into it. Okay, so that's all for today. 
I've given you three techniques to release a stiff spine. And if you happen to be part of my massage academy, I've gone into a little bit more detail and I've added a couple of bonus techniques as well. So any of my students, go check out the new lessons that I've just uploaded today, okay? So that's all for now. Namaste.